It's finally here. YouTube is introducing the long-awaited monetization of YouTube Shorts. But how will it work? Which videos will get monetized? How to get monetization after this update in early 2023? And finally, how much will you be able to earn from it? And can you stop making long videos and start making shorts and get a lot of money? Give this video a thumbs up in advance and let's go. YouTube Shorts fund. It had $100 million in it for 2022 and that money is slowly running out and YouTube has decided to include ads between shorts. Most importantly, you can now get your channel monetized for 10 million shorts views and 1,000 subscribers. That is, if it was difficult for you to gain 4,000 watch time hours on long videos, now get just 10 million shorts views and that's it. You are a member of YouTube's partner program. And it's cool that YouTube is adding such a feature, but if you think that you're going to re-upload viral videos from TikTok and get your channel monetized, of course not. The same content value validation will work as it does on long-form content. That is, your content must be copyrighted or contain some sort of creator commentary. We've already had a video about this on our channel, but in short, edits of other creators' videos can be monetized in the same way that it works on long-form content or any content that you just shot yourself. So it's simple. If you make something by yourself, it's going to be monetized. Let's move on. But how much you can earn on YouTube Shorts now threw me into a loop. What did YouTube say? We're going to show ads in short videos. The first question, which is very important, is how many ads will be shown? And people watch shorts because it's cool, it's fast, it's fun. If every other short is accompanied by ads like long videos, people are unlikely to stay. They'll move to TikTok where there aren't many ads. This means that not every playback of YouTube shorts will be commercial. I think one in five to seven shorts will be commercial, maybe one in 10. Let's consider the most positive layout. One in five YouTube Shorts views will be commercial. So if you have a million views, you will get a reward comparable to 200,000 views on your long form content. Divide by either five or 10, let's divide by five, that RPM, that revenue per 1,000 commercial plays. Let's say it's about 30 cents. At Shorts, it would be about six cents. So you should, in theory, get $50 per million views. But it's really not that simple. Creators will only share 45% of the total total revenue that YouTube gets from ads in the YouTube Shorts tab. In long form content, it's 50%. In short form, it's 45%. The rest will go to YouTube and royalties to creators who upload music. And by the way, it's much more exciting now for super popular TikTok rappers. That is, if a large number of shorts are created using your songs or your sound and they get a lot of views, then you will earn a lot of money. I think it would be more interesting to make money creating viral sounds. Yeah, it's very cool and how much you can make from it, it's hard to say, but I think that such creators can get 30 to 40% of the total income generated on content with their sound. That is, let's say you get 10 million views on shorts with your music. You get revenue from that total monetization, it's going to be about 40%. That's not a bad extra 